Hey guys, I'm Sam with Mattress Makers, and this is another episode of Anatomy of a Mattress. So in this episode, we're gonna open up the purple mattress. The infamous purple mattress. You might have seen their commercials all over YouTube and social media. Um, they're very funny. Um, but let's see what's on the inside. And before we before I open it up, let me just reiterate like why we're doing these videos, why Anatomy of a Mattress is because Sometimes a mattress is very mysterious. You spend all this money, and but what's on the inside? You just you use it every single day. So we wanna show you and open up the veil and show you what kind of materials are used in mattresses. Uh, also, to just educate you on what to look for when you're shopping for a new mattress. How do you know it's gonna last a long time? And there's two things we look for in mattresses. One, make sure it's very comfortable. But two, we wanna make sure that that comfort's gonna last a long time. So that's gonna be based on the materials on the inside. So the whole point of this, show you the weak points um, and the strong points. We're not meant to bash any company or any mattress, just to really show you what goes on the inside. So let's open up the purple mattress. Um, this has sparked a lot of um, just talk and chatter on social media with their videos within the last few years. So let's open up, they got a nice zipper at the bottom. This one I believe is the first purple mattress. Um, retails, frankly I can't remember, around the thousand dollar range or so with the rest of them. So as you can see, First thing, this is the FR sock or the fire retardant sock. Every mattress in the US that's manufactured needs to uh, pass the fire test and that can be uh, done in a multiple ways. In their case, this is a sock. I'm not exactly sure the material here, um, but that's what it is when we see it. Let's take this off so we see what's on the inside. Now, when we open these up, we're always looking at three things, the three parts to a mattress. The first part is the support layer. Support layer is where you're gonna get most of that uh, support for your back. It's gonna be found at the bottom of the mattress um, and it's to um, really gonna be firmer, typically. On top of that is the comfort layer of the padding. Comfort layer is where you get most of the pressure relief for your shoulders and for your hips. And that's a very important, you know, it tends to be a little bit softer. Um, that's what we see a lot of the comfort layers where it starts to go, the first thing to go bad in the mattress, typically, not always. Um, and then you have the cover. The cover is what you see when you look at the mattress, depending if it's stretched in it or not. It can affect the, the comfort of the bed, if it's quilted or not, um, but also the temperature and breathability of the mattress. Okay, so this is the purple, and you can already see the, that polymer, what they're famous for, right off the bat. But let's focus first on the support layer, which is gonna be uh, this layer with a little bit of this layer. This is more of like a transitional foam, but it's part of the, the support, I would uh, generally say. Um, so this first, the bottom one, about four inches, uh, and the other top, the middle one, eh, about three and a half inches of support. And it's just traditional polyurethane foam. Of course, they have a purple tint to it to match the branding. Um, nothing very, nothing very special. Nothing surprising. Polyurethane. It's uh, the most popular material used in mattresses. About, you know, say maybe ninety percent of the mattresses, ninety-five percent of the mattresses on the market use some type of polyurethane. It's not bad. You want to make sure it's a, it is a higher density of foam, and they weigh that. They they measure that by. Uh, they get a cubic block and they weigh that particular block, you know, at least 1.8 pounds. It's a good density of foam. But, um, you know, it's polyurethane foam, nothing special, nothing surprising, uh, nothing really um, innovative. It's, just, it's been used in mattresses for a long time. So it's an all foam mattress, there's no coils in this one. And then on top, you can see the this polymer, kind of this rubbery feel to it. Um, honeycomb look and this is what the really purple they kind of tout on their all their marketing um, it's a good material we're familiar with it it's not 
it isn't new to mattresses. It's been around a long time. They've kind of made it really popular through their videos, making funny and, um, you know, kind of telling like they've come up with it, but it's really a uh, 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 technology that's been around a long time. It is a good material, it tends to be heavier, and last, it does last a long time, it's pretty durable. Um, some of the clicks we've got, you know, you can feel it kind of buckle, which you're meant to, uh, and it's meant to buckle under you when you're laying on it, but you can kind of feel it in those different grooves. That's what people say when they're sleeping on it. You know, it's about, you know, there's only about two inches of it on top of their bed. Um, and then I don't know if you guys can see it in the video, but there's like this a white kind of powdery residue. I'm not sure what it is. Um, some people brought it up in different uh, forums and message boards. Uh, I don't know if it's to toxic at all. I think Purple claims it's not toxic. I'm not sure, but I do notice it and I can see it. Um, I can get a little bit on my hands. Um, but really, this is the Purple mattress. It's not something that's super mysterious or there's no revolutionary material in the med. It's not a bad mattress. Um, if you're looking for, you know, a purple like bed or feel bed, you know, I would probably direct you to maybe our Cardiff mattress, um, all foam, except for those are double sided where you can actually flip them. Um, so it's going to last a long time. Um, if anything, it's probably this transitional foam is maybe the weak point of the bed because it's in between this one and the support. It feels a little bit softer than the support, so it's probably not going to last as long as this bottom layer here and so that's probably the weak point um if this was double-sided it would definitely give you a lot more life out of it um, but you know this is it there's no mystery the, the cover is just a maybe a polyester maybe some tinsel inside the cover so it's maybe cooler fabric but there's still polyester probably inside of it it's non-quilted so you're gonna feel a lot of the effect of this um this polymer layer here this gel you know somni gel layer um, but this is a purple mattress so you know if you guys are in the market for a mattress um, you want to pay attention to make sure it's comfortable but you also want to make sure it's gonna last a long time um, you know you, it's, it's there's no one-size-fits-all mattress there's no perfect mattress one perfect mattress you know your body is unique to you so you need to lay on it try it out and if you're in the market and you're in San Diego, come check out our stores in one in Miramar, one in La Mesa, Mattress Makers. You can check out our website, mattressmakers.com. And uh, if you're just starting, you don't, you're not ready to start looking on inside the store, download our mattress shopping guide. It's free. We give you tips there to find out how to find the right mattress and mistakes to avoid. So this is the Purple Mattress, the anatomy of mattress. I'm Sam with Mattress Makers. And see you guys next time.